In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a transparent overlay effect with text to an image that appears only when you hover over it. And we're also gonna create a fallback style for all the users that are using a device that doesn't allow hovering, like touchscreen devices. By the way, before you get started, if you're here, I'm sure you want to become a programmer and yes, here on YouTube, you can learn a lot, but one of the best ways to actually improve, especially if you want to turn this into a career, is to take some courses made by experts in the field. Usually these courses are structured in a way that makes it easier for you to learn properly and I've selected for you some of the best courses and learning platforms. You'll find the links in the description down below and by using those links, you're going to help this channel as well. So here I have my index.html, I've changed the title, I've linked the style sheet and also I've got live server running and Pritya which is the code formatter that I use and I've made videos on Pritya and live server so if you want to check them out I'll leave the links in the description down below. So first of all let's start by adding the div with the id main container like that and then this because basically my images are going to be sort of links okay so you can click on them and they will send you to another page basically in this case i don't have a link so i just use this right then inside of this i'm going to write the div with a class like that and also the id image one and you'll see why i'm using that later on then h1 i'm gonna call it learning and then paragraph i'm actually going to copy and paste to go text like that okay and i'm going to repeat this three times okay so here traveling id image 2 image 3 here and also support the text is the same so it doesn't matter so this is basically the html let's see what we get so this is what we actually get from that, right? So let's now go to the CSS file and actually start styling things properly. So let's go here. So first thing we're going to do is the body margin zero, okay? Then the main container, padding, display, flex, justify content, space around, this is just to show you, of course, you've got your own style, right? Then the image. So we're going to use height 300 pixels with 300 pixels, background size, cover, display, flex, justify content, center, align item center, of course, flex direction, column, then transform, scale, one and we're gonna need this to make a transition later on then transition transform 200 milliseconds all right so let's see what we get so this is already looking a little bit better right then then the image the paragraph margin zero padding zero 40 pixels zero 40 pixels then the color is going to be white text align center z index is going to be one because we need that opacity zero and transition going to be opacity 200 milliseconds like that by the way if you like this channel and you want to support it and you want to actually help me keep making videos like this you can do that by becoming a member of my patreon where you can also get exclusive perks i'll leave the link in the description for those of you who are interested then same thing for the image h1 we're going to do something like margin 0 0 30 pixels 0 color white z index is going to be 1 opacity is going to be 0 okay and then the transition is going to be opacity 200 milliseconds all right then we're going to use the before pseudo element to create the overlay right so we're going to do something like image b4 content nothing position salute opacity zero background color black top zero bottom zero left zero and right zero 
and you know why I've done this, right? If you don't know that, when you're using a position absolute on an element and you want this to cover the whole, let's say, parent, you need to do something like this, top zero, bottom zero, left zero, right zero, so that the actual element stretches to cover the whole thing. This is how you do it. And then transition opacity 200 milliseconds. We'll add the hover effect later on, okay? But first, we want to actually add the images. So first of all, image one. That's why we actually used the ID here, right? ID image one, ID image two, image three, okay? To target the div directly, okay? So we can set the different image to all the divs, okay? So image one is going to be background image, URL learning, then let's do this. So two and three. So here we've got traveling and here we've got support like that. By the way, it's really, really important to know that on mobile, people will probably not be able to hover over things, over images, and they wouldn't be able to see the text, right? So we need to make sure that we have a fallback version of the images with the text already there without the need to hover over them. And this is the same for all the elements, so cards and stuff like that. So let's first finish this and then we'll see how we can actually fix this problem and make this fallback version so that people on smartphones and stuff like that can actually see the text without needing to hover over the image, right? So now we've got all of this, let's actually see what we get. So we get this, and of course, if you hover over them, you don't see anything, right? So we need to add the effects. So first of all, I'm gonna do something like image, hover, h1, and also the same thing for image, hover, paragraph, right? And then the opacity, one. And the same thing for the pseudo element, so hover, and then the before, opacity in this case 0 0.5, right? And then we can add another cool thing, so image, hover, and we can do something like transform, scale 1.05, something like this, all right? And then last thing, we need to add something like this. So image link, remember that we have this class here, all the links, and we need to actually add the text decoration, none, otherwise we would see an underline under links and it wouldn't look pretty, right? So let's see if that works. As you can see, it works incredibly well, okay? But the problem is that on touch screen, you wouldn't be able to do this, so you would see something like this and you wouldn't be able to actually read the text, right? So to simulate a touch screen device, you can do something like this. So F12, I'm on Firefox here, but I'll show you how to do that in Chrome as well. So you need to go up here, click on that. And then as you can see, this is the version, the desktop version. So if you go up here where you see this hand, enable touch simulation, if you click on that, this is the version that you would see on a smartphone, for example. Of course, this is not responsive, blah, blah, blah. On mobile, you don't have the pointer, right? The mouse pointer. So you wouldn't be able to actually hover over that. And as you can see, nothing works, right? So we need to actually create this fallback version where you actually see already the version with the text and the overlay on it, okay? So let's actually, let's keep that and go back to our Visual Studio Code. So as I said, now we need to make sure that we have a version with the text and the overlay already there for devices that use the touch screen as the primary input. Of course, there are gonna be edge cases where maybe the primary input is the pointer, but the user is using the touch screen, but it's rare. And also if they have the mouse available, they might know that they should use the, the mouse to have our things, right? So there is a media query, which is kind of cool, incredibly useful, which is the Hava media query. So at media, Hava, Hava, like that. We're not gonna use this, but this thing here is basically, you would put in here all the CSS that you want to use for devices whose primary input can be used to have all the stuff, like the mouse pointer, for example. But in this case, we have a lot of CSS that can be used for all devices. So 
all of these can basically be used for all devices the only thing that you want to change is the opacity here for example you want this to be one already or for example here you want this to be one and this to be one but all the other things are the same and for example this is not used because if hovering is not possible then these are sort of ignored right so instead of placing in here all the properties here right it's easier to actually override just the things that we need on touchscreen devices basically because here you would put all the things that you need on desktop devices with the mouse etc etc and it wouldn't make sense because all of this you should put all of this in that it doesn't make sense right so we just need to override the few properties that i've just shown you when hovering is not possible by the way if you're finding this video helpful please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel as well so instead of using hover hover we're going to use none okay so in here we want to put all the properties that we want the browser to actually use when the primary input of the device is something that you can't use to have our things like touch screen for example so image we want to override image before i want this to be opacity 0.5 perfect it's really really important that you write this media query down here and not up here because basically if you were to put it up here like this all right the browser would do something like this it would go down 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 and see image before and actually apply this style and it, and then it would go down 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 and then it would see this style okay the opacity here and it would apply the opacity zero because the last style is the one used basically right so you don't want this to happen so you need to place it down here right so basically the browser goes down 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 it applies the opacity zero and then it goes down 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 it sees that the device doesn't support hovering so it goes down here it applies the 0 0.5 and overrides the zero that was written in here i hope that makes sense and then we also need to do the same thing for the image page one and the image paragraph in this case opacity one okay so now i'm going to show you this on firefox and also on chrome on firefox it looks like this as you can see this is normal desktop version and then touchscreen as you can see you've got this you don't have hovering effects right but you already see this so this is what you would see on a touchscreen device okay which still looks nice but you're able to actually read what's written on it right on chrome though you need to do something like this so this is the same you might see a different font here i just set the same font so things look the same so on here you need to hit f12 then you need to go up here you need to click on that and that's already the mobile version all right as you can see if you want to change the device you need to go up here our device type as you can see here you've got mobile you can choose desktop so this is the desktop version then you need to go up here mobile and this is what you see on mobile all right so this is basically how you can create a fallback version for people who are using touchscreen devices and can't hover over the images okay if you're still watching and you want to learn more about web development watch the video you see on the screen right now and don't forget to check out my patreon and also like the video and subscribe to the channel as well and i'll see you in the next one bye